Hey everybody, it's time for beer battles. I kind of thought I like making YouTube videos, but one thing I also love is beer, so why not combine the two for a perfect marriage? So, uh, we're going to go for three beers today. We have a, a Czech, I believe, um, pra from Prague, yes, Stara Praman. This is one of the uh, one of the nicest beers that I've tried from from Czech Republic, and we have San Miguel, which is sort of like a mid level beer from Spain, and then we have this bad boy, which is Alhambra Reserva, nineteen twenty five. This is the absolute pièce de résistance from the Alhambra um, dist uh, brewery, which is in the south of Spain from in Mur Murcia. Sorry, I just absolutely murdered that. Sorry to any Spaniards out there. My wife is Spanish. And if her family see this, they'll be mortified with how I said that. But it's from Granada in Spain, which is also where my wife is from. So it must be good. Right, we're gonna start off with the Stara Praman. I'm gonna give you my best layman description of the flavors and tastes and everything. Um, obviously all very nice and cool, so Ah, I love the aroma of this one. It's really nice. Very typically Czech. It's kind of crisp. Um, a good flavor, not too strong, but also not in any way bland either. Um, it's not the strongest you'll get, strongest beer that you would get from um, that kind of, that part of Europe. Um, in typical terms from beers from that area it's probably quite light in flavour but it's miles above the typical ones like Sol and that sort of thing so I would say this is very much a crisp summer beer that you could drink really really cold still get some flavour from and you could drink it all night long it's really nice very good and we're going to go on to the San Miguel now this is my wife's beer of choice for obvious reasons. We drink quite a lot of this. And I do like it, but it's very different. I can't describe where the f smells are coming from, but it's got a much, much stronger flavor to it. There's an awful lot more going on in the aroma. Much less crisp but not in a bad way than the Czech beer. Again, nice and full of flavor. I really don't like lagers that aren't, but this particular one is very, very nice. It's got quite a strong back flavor, which is nice in small doses, which is about the amount my wife drinks. She doesn't drink an awful lot of beer, so she loves the strength of the flavor in this. Without it, it's not overpowering. It's not a strong beer in, typical terms if you went to say Austria and you got a beer that was full of flavor there a lager that was full of flavor it would be really it would have a really noticeable taste to it it's not like that but it is stronger than in in flavor than your typical beers that you would get in England so um, we normally go for it because we like beers lagers that have got a bit more flavor to them this one's five percent just to go back to the Stara Praman, just to give you the info this Staropromen is 5% as well. So both strong beers. I have yet to come across a 4% beer that actually tastes any good, quite frankly, which is weird. Tastes a little bit different the second mouthful, but you certainly have this certain very San Miguel flavor to it uh, that never leaves and actually builds as you drink through the night. And for that reason, I actually tend to want to move away from San Miguel. I don't want to drink San Miguel all night. I find that flavour can become a little bit tiresome, um, which is why I often buy in the Stara Promen, so I can mix it up between crisp and full and crisp and full. That's kind of my approach. So these are the, these two are the two beers that we drink the most. Very nice. I'm going to have a good night tonight. I'm going to tell you that much. And this. Now, you may have noticed that um, I've... I know this beer. This beer uh, was the is one of the nicest beers I've had, and it's the beer that my mother-in-law always gets me when I go over there to see them because she knows I love lager, and uh, 
she gets a little bit of this and sometimes a lot <laughs> um, <coughs> excuse me and uh, it's so nice and especially if you can imagine in, uh, when it's 30 degrees out there you go out there you're incredibly thirsty you want to drink you're tired at the end of the day and I tell you what nothing hits the spot like this Alhambra Reserve it's not just Alhambra Alhambra have sort of like these San Miguel level of beer which is also very very nice but this one is their sort of like their the pièce de résistance of their range to kind of French term for a Spanish beer so mm, a really really full aroma you get uh, you can almost smell the barrels absolutely lovely aroma to it it's really nice Oh yeah, this has got a much more full flow, the more in line with the kind of stuff that you get from Austria and that sort of thing when you go out there and you've got the local breweries that have got sort of like their beers in almost every bar, they can be quite strong and they can actually get a little bit too much in flavour. This one, this is just underneath that strength of flavour to be palatable through the night, if you see what I mean, and it's a more balanced flavour than you get from the San Miguel. So I literally could drink this all night whilst enjoying the full flavour of it and really not get tired. And particularly when you're in Spain, when it's that hot and obviously everything gets served really, really cold, which takes the edge off the flavour anyway. Oh, my friend, how I've missed you. This is a really good beer. You should really try it, particularly in summer. If you were going to buy some of this, it's not cheap. Uh, to give you some idea, this was about £4.25 for a pack of four from the local co-op, <coughs> each of these types, and this was £6. So this is a special beer, but noticeably it's also 6.4%, I believe. Let's see if it's written on it. 6.4, yeah, so it's a much stronger beer, but you do get the extra flavour with that. Um, so if you were going to be on the shandies of an evening, whilst it's almost a bit criminal to put this beer in with some lemonade, if you were on shandies, this would give you... Um, a little bit more alcoholic flavour to it and also a lot more flavour to fill it up as well which sometimes when we're driving I try and um, spread my one beer across two drinks to just sort of pass the time a bit better and sometimes I can do that but yes this um, I'm not recommending that you make shandy with this drink it as is if you can <laughs> but, uh, but yeah I tell you what I promise you for the next video I am going to learn what all these flavours are and smells and aromas and which bits are the hops and which bits are the this, that, the other and all of that so I can describe a little bit better. But yes, um, definitely in order of preference, I would say, <coughs> number one, Alhambra 1925, by far the nicest one in this pack. And then it's quite a le level peg in between these two, depending what you're after. But I tend to prefer, I lean towards the Staropramen because it's a bit crisper and I can enjoy it for longer. But if you're just having the one, you might find it a little bit too bland. And then the San Miguel, if you're only having a couple and you want a bit of full flavour. Absolutely delicious. Uh, all good beers, all delicious. Um, definitely enjoy them. Next round, I'll be getting some really incredibly cheap beer. And I'll be telling you just how rubbish it all is. All good. I love to be surprised. So keep posted for that. I'll be going to all the supermarkets, own brands, cheapest rubbish that they've got on the shelves and then after that I am going to go for the alcohol free beers and I'm going to tell you which alcohol free beer is actually worth drinking if you're out and you're driving. Take care, see you next time. Don't forget please if you've come this far you've obviously enjoyed the video please like and share because thanks to YouTube's ridiculous new uh, monetization rules um, it's going to take a lot of work to start getting anything back whatsoever from YouTube for generating all this um, useful content. So please like, share, subscribe, um, really appreciate it.